Today we're taking a look at Willow AI. It's an AI voice typing app that's available on iPhone, Mac, and on Windows. And we're gonna show you how it can be beneficial and a tutorial into how that works in a little bit more detail. So Willow is used by apparently 50,000 users worldwide and it's available on those platforms that I mentioned. The application is really designed to help you take your hands off the keyboard and to get more done using your voice. If you want a discounted rate on Willow, you can check out the link in the description. It is a great way. Find it via us if you're interested. So before we begin, what even are these tools because there's a lot of talk about AI typing and things like that and you might want to just be caught up very fast. So very simply, AI voice typing apps, they're designed to help you type three to five times faster using your voice. You talk into it and then it produces a output which is like dictation, but combines it with formatting. So it cleans it up, makes it look a lot nicer. So say you're sending an email, it's gonna be able to pass that information a lot faster and tidy it up for you ready to send. The idea is faster output, less keyboard, getting more done. So that's basically the simple abilities. But many people are using not just for email, but for writing documents, for uploading their thoughts, journaling, and even developers are using it to produce better prompts when they are voice uh, typing, when they're doing coding. So before we begin, let's look at the pricing. You can get 2000 words for free per week, which is fairly reasonable if you're a light user. This means that you can get hold of it on all devices, but your limit is 2000 across a week. Week. Perfect for sending short emails, but not necessarily for doing large documents and things like that then you probably need the premium pricing. That is $12 per user per month as of the timing of this video. So again, looking at the investment of how fast and what it produces for you will be important as you tend to test it. So let's look at what Willow AI actually does. So let's first look at the Mac application. So once you set it up, you get access to it through this. And what's great is you can set up a hotkey. Once you press and hold that hotkey, you can start using your voice to type away. So if you want to start writing an email, it's going to edit that for you and format it to the information on screen. So that's absolutely perfect for getting started. Now you're probably wondering, are there words that it won't understand? But that's where the dictionary comes in to help you add words for custom vocabulary that might be helpful for later. It's also got features like style matching. So the more you use it over time, the better it will get based on how you communicate and use your words. There are also features in the premium like context awareness. So depending what app you use, it'll use the vocabulary based on that app to save you time going in and out, adding additional vocabulary. But essentially, the more you use it, the better it is. They also have an iPhone app. Not many of these type of apps have that, but the iPhone app is an external keyboard, which you need to, you need to to set it up inside of the settings area and then improve the permissions that are available for here. Make sure you're happy with them and then that means you can access it for an external keyboard, send emails and speak into it, which means that you're basically allowed to use it in any app that has a keyboard attached to it, which means it's great for saving a bunch of time. So let's look at the pros of this app. To be honest, it's really fast to use and easy to access. A lot of people are gonna like this if they use and communicate quite a lot with their voice. I tend to be that type of person and and I'm gonna find it helpful. But if you're not somebody that uses their voice out and about or maybe on the go, then you won't find it as valuable. I probably see this great for busy professionals that are using their voice to communicate quite a lot, sending lots of emails, maybe writing up lots of documents or just can get more information out of their mouth using their mouth, not using the typing of the keyboard. So one of the cons that I saw of this app is that if you are somebody that doesn't like having a third party keyboard attached to your iPhone, you're probably not gonna like this. Switching between them can sometimes be a little bit tricky. That's more Apple side than Willow side, but it's just something to know. You do get used to it after a while. It's just something I always make people aware of. So these type of applications have become incredibly more valuable in the future. Agentic based voice typing will be more prevalent. Think I'm talking to an AI system and it's able to generate better results for me or go and do things for me in the background of the task. So like Iron Man, it's gonna help you get more done using your voice. Thank you very much for stopping by. And as I mentioned, you can get a great rate on Willow linked in description below. If you're interested, please do check it out there. And thank you very much for stopping on this video. Do comment below with whether you go for it or let me know whether you go for an alternative. Check them all out in the description below and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio for now.